everybody's dream to play in Crow Park. Uh, you're getting a chance to do that now next Sunday. Uh, how does that sound? How are preparations going for that? Yeah, look, they're going, they're going probably as well as, as as well as we could hope, you know. Uh, as you say, it is everyone's dream to play in Crow, Crow Park, but it's definitely everyone's dream to win in Crow Park, I suppose, and that's kind of what we're trying to focus on. There's no point in going up and losing the game, you know, so that's really just what we're kind of trying to focus on for at the minute. And Angus, a lot of that will be trying to put that to the back of your mind for the week and focus on the job in hand, beating Carlo as well. Yeah, well, all we can concentrate on ourselves, really, so this week we can just look after ourselves and try and get ourselves in best of shape for next weekend and just do as much work as we can during the week and all look after ourselves then on the day. I'm saying a lot, like, a lot has been said about maybe uh, Demi, or, sorry, James Doyle from uh, Carlo. Uh, scored three goals the last day and was kind of a torn in Westmead side in the league final. They're threats all over the field, not just James, you know, they're all very good hurlers, you know, exactly what they kind of play now, you know, and it's a tough game, but that be the best of our abilities, you know, and we'll bring it on the day, you know. And uh, Michael Ryan has done some excellent work with Westmead hurling over the last couple of years. How much would it mean for the actual players to do it uh, for him next Sunday? Uh, so I mean an awful lot, like I suppose, us the players, we would have been the only ones that really seen him in the dressing room after the league final and he was, he was devastated, like you know, he, 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 I suppose when you look at what he's doing for us, like the, the round trip he has every night of training, it's probably a five hour round trip and he's, he's, he never once complained about it, did, and he's doing that for four years now, so um, I suppose, you know, as a group we probably owe it to him as much as ourselves to go out and, and, and perform and, and hopefully, hopefully try and win it. I've been kind of saying this, as I said all year, it's a close one uh, with a very good affection for the manager. But that can only bode well for uh, going up next week. Yeah, definitely. It does kind of feel like a bit of a club team at the minute, you know, and winning always helps. So we have, we have had a couple of, we've got good momentum going, I suppose, after the league. Uh, we have had a couple of wins and that always helps. So it, it, there's definitely a tight neck group and there's a lot of respect there for Michael and for what he's done first. And as only said, like, he's a probably five or six hour round trip as well so that can't go unnoticed and hopefully just for even for ourselves and for him that we definitely put in a big performance next week. And with it uh, clashing with the Leinster final and the Munster final, it may not be on uh, TV, uh, what would you say to the Westmead supporters that were maybe 50-50 going, uh, what would you say to him Angus to uh, kind of convince them to go to the game next week? Well, every every supporter we can get is a bonus like so. I think as Westmead people, it's great for if they could come. We're in a final. It's they have a team support for in a final, like so. And we're there to support, mountain supports, I suppose. And Shane, uh, not just to just to have done a cup next week. Uh, you have a chance to rattle either Wexford or Limerick, uh, whatever the outcome of next Sunday. Uh, that must be a uh, great to look forward to, and two extra games in the championship then as well. Yeah, looking forward to that. All right. Uh, we, I think it's a home game as well. We have. Uh, following Saturday or Sunday, yeah we know what Limerick are like and we've played them twice in the qualifiers over the last three years. Wexford as well is the other team we get to play, oh, we cherish either of them, you know, especially at home. And what would that mean then for you to be home game here playing either Wexford or Limerick and have the Joe McDonough Cup alongside you? Sure, like I suppose you are going by your previous record down the years, you know, anytime we got a big team, especially at home, um, you know, we, we, we've done very well, like, so I, I, I suppose, like, I, personally I think it's only a matter of time before we take, you know, a, a scalp off one of them, I think, you know, the best example was probably done 21 last year, like, you know, what they did, or two years ago now, what they did to Kenny, so I think that that's coming for the senior team as well, and I suppose we have to aim high, because if we win the Joe McDonough, we're up in Leinster next year anyway, and we're going to be playing the likes of Wexford anyway, so, like, to be, to be there you have to earn that, right, so there's no point in just trying to win the Joe McDonough and then going out and, just you know, fulfilling the fixture the following week, we'll be, we'll be going hard at it, whatever, whoever we're playing. And and Angus, uh, with the way the GR playing hurling this year, you'd be well able for next year up in the uh, proper Leinster and the playing the likes of Wexford and Galway and Dublin and all of those. Yeah, we'd hope so. It'd definitely be a step up. But look, that's we're all an ambitious group. That's what we're aiming for. And for there next year, hopefully we are. Like that's the ultimate goal is to stay there and, and start becoming one of the top teams. Then after that, so. Hopefully we can get up and achieve that. That's our, our overall aim in the long run, I suppose. Well, lads, from everybody at Westmead GA, both here and abroad, uh, the very best of luck next week. We'll be all very much behind you. Win, lose or draw. And uh, we hope to see you back here uh, on this field again two weeks later with the uh, Joe McDonough Cup.